is Keisha here at TradeWithResolve.com and I hope you're having a great trading day. If you're new to the channel and interested in platform tutorials, viewing live day trades, or learning some of the basic terminology that comes along when getting involved in the stock market, please consider subscribing to the channel. Today I am going to walk you through how to customize your stock charts. So to begin, you can come down to the bottom and select the plus sign, and then you can select quick chart. So next let's type in a ticker symbol. Let's say we would like to view SPY. And now we have our stock chart. So now let's go ahead and detach the gadget. So you will just select the menu button and then select detach gadget. So at this point, we can resize this window. And now we have our stock chart. All right, so let's go over some of the basics here. So in order to zoom in and out, there are three ways that you can do so. You can select the chart, so left click, and then drag your mouse over and let go. And you can continue to do that until the sizing is the way that you wish. Another way that you can zoom in and out is utilizing the magnifying glasses down here at the bottom right hand corner. So we can zoom out and then zoom in with the plus sign. The last way that you can zoom in and out is by dragging the horizontal and vertical axis. All right, so those are the three ways that you can zoom in and out. So now let's go into the chart settings. So if you come up to the top where this gear icon is, that is where your chart settings are located. So first, let's begin by taking a look at the overlapping volume. So this is something that I don't personally like. I don't like for my volume to overlap. So I am going to deselect that option and then click apply. So now you can see the volume is separate from the chart now. It is not overlaying the actual chart. Next, you can also display your high-low bubbles. So I'm going to go ahead and display that and click apply. So this is an example of the high bubble. And there it is displayed nicely on the chart. Let's go back into the settings. And you can also change the time zone. So depending on where you are located, you can come down here and change the time zone. Next, we are going to go over to favorite time frames. So we do automatically have a few different options here. We have the three minute, the five minute, the 15 minute, so forth and so on. So let's say you would like to add the two minute time frame. You simply click add time frame. And I'm gonna go to intraday. And let's go to five days for the time interval. And then let's select two minutes. And then you can select add. So now our two minute time frame has been added. You'll want to select apply and OK. So now when you come up to the top here, you're going to see that the two minute time frame has been added. All right. So let's go back into the settings. So next we are going to take a look at the appearance tab. So this is where you can customize the different colors for your stock chart. So you can change the colors of the candlesticks. So you can also determine if you would like for the candlesticks to be filled or unfilled. So for example, let's say we want it to fill the candlestick. Now the green candlesticks are filled. We can deselect it to unfill it. You can do the same for the red candlesticks. Now, if you don't want to stick with the red and green candlesticks, you can change the colors to your personal liking. Next, you can change the background of your stock chart. So let's say you don't like this gray. So what you can do is select background and then select the color of your choice. I'm gonna go with black instead of gray. 
And then you can also change the grid lines here. And I think that looks okay for now. And we can also change the color of the volume bar. Let's say I would like the volume bars to be, let's go with blue. Now we can select apply and okay. And now we have made some changes to the chart. So you can see here that this shaded area of the chart is displaying the extended hours. And that is not something that I personally like to display on my stock charts. So let's go back into settings. We can head over to equities and then you can deselect show extended hours trading session. So we're going to deselect that and then click apply and okay. So now you can see that the extended hours are no longer displayed. All right, so that is how you can customize the colors of your stock chart. So now let's discuss how do you go about adding technical indicators. So you simply want to select studies, add study, and then you can find the indicator that you are looking for. So let's say I would like to add a simple moving average. I'm going to go down to S and select simple moving average. You can see here the default simple moving average is the nine period simple moving average, but I would like to add the 50 period simple moving average instead. So you will simply right click the indicator and then select edit study. From here, you can change the length. So I'm going to change the length to 50 and then you can select the color that you would like. I'm going to go with red, select apply and okay. So we now have our 50 period simple moving average. Let's say we would like to add another indicator. Again, select studies, add study, all studies, and then you can choose the study that you are looking for. So let's say I want to add Bollinger Bands. I'm going to go over to Bollinger Bands and now the Bollinger Bands are displayed. Again, if you would like to change the colors of a particular indicator, just right click, go to edit, and I'm going to change the color of the Bollinger Bands so they are all one color and then you can select apply and okay. So now I have my Bollinger Bands and the 50 period simple moving average. Now let's say you would like to add another indicator like the RSI. You can go back to studies, select add studies and now we can select RSI and you can see the RSI has been displayed here at the bottom. If you would like to change the color or the settings, again, right click on the indicator, select edit. You can change the colors here if you would like. You can also change the length as well. So that is how you can go about changing and customizing the color scheme and adding technical indicators to your chart. So now that you have customized the chart to your liking, it is important to save the chart so that whenever you log into the platform, you will not have to continuously recustomize the chart. So we're going to simply right click, go down to style and save styles. So now let's name this particular style and I'll just say chart style number one. And then you'll want to make sure that you select include patterns and study set. Now you can save it. All right. So let's go back to the main screen here and let's detach another chart. So this is the default chart, but let's make sure that we saved our customized chart properly. So what you can do is right click on the chart, select style, load style, and we named it chart style one. 
and here we are here is our customized chart all right and then you also want to make sure that before you exit the platform you can go up to setup save workspace as name the workspace and select save so that you can save your work also let's say you want to be able to view multiple charts you can go over to charts and we are now looking at the flexible grid so let's say you would like to view a total of six charts you will select the add button to the right and now we have a total of six charts so let's bring up a few different charts here so let's bring up Apple Facebook Netflix Tesla Alibaba and then spy so now that we have our six charts here let's say you would like to remove the sidebar you will just deselect sidebar so that you can have a little bit more space here if you would prefer to display the level 2 beneath the chart, you can select level 2 and it will allow you to view the level 2 along with the stock chart. If you would like to remove the level 2, you deselect level 2 and it goes back. So now let's go ahead and deselect sidebar for each chart so we have more space. All right, so after we are done, you simply come up to the top here, the top right hand corner, and select Customize Grid. You want to deselect it. We no longer need this customization box here. So you can deselect Customize Grid, and then the box disappears. So now let's load the chart that we just customized. Again, right click, go down to load style and select the chart so we have now loaded our saved chart style to each chart so once you've done that again you'll want to make sure that you save your workspace so that you do not lose your progress all right so that is how you can utilize flexible grid now let's say you don't really like having all of this information contained within this main screen. What you can do is we can go back to the chart that we were working on earlier. So if you have another monitor, you can drag it to your other monitor if you wish. And then let's say we would also like to view the chart along with the level two. So what you can do is go back down here to the bottom left hand corner and click add gadget and let's add a level two window. Let's enter a ticker symbol. So we'll just enter spy. We'll go back to the menu and select detach gadget. All right, so we have detached the level two along with the stock chart. Now let's say you would also like to view the times and sales window. You can go back to the main screen, go down to the plus sign, and then we can select time and sales. Let's enter spy, and then we will detach the window once more. And you can resize each window to your liking. So now we have our level two, our time and sales window, and our customized chart. Let's say you would like to link all of these windows together. You simply select the link icon, and let's select red for each one. All right, so now let's enter a different ticker symbol. Let's say we would like to view Facebook. And now whenever you enter in any ticker symbol, each of the windows will change to that specific ticker symbol. So now we can view the level two time and sales and the stock chart of Facebook now that we have linked the windows. So again, once you have customized your chart, remember you will want to make sure that you save your progress. So again, you can save it by right clicking the chart 
and then going down to style and then you can select save style you can also go to the top of the chart here and select style save style so there's two ways that you can really get to the same destination so I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how you can go about customizing your thinkorswim charts to your personal liking Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing to the channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.